Alright, so to drill this hole out, what I use is one of the small drill bits that come with a uh, Havico uh, pin vise. I don't know the actual measurement, but uh, I did place it up against the wire and it is about the same uh, diameter. I just mount it on my motor tool. Be very careful drilling out the hole. You don't want to go through that black plastic mount and damage the uh, switch machine. Work slowly and then uh, test the wire as you go along. So you can see the uh, wire fits in, in there, let's say about good uh, about a quarter inch. That's all you really need the, water, the uh, wire to go in the uh, black plastic uh, mount. Next step, you would just go ahead and bend your new wire to the uh, shape as required on the uh, tortoise uh, instructions. Okay, as you can see, I've already put the bend in the wire as per the instructions. And this should be uh, uh, eight, one eighth, a little bit over in my case, as I drilled it out. Uh, and then the next bend here is three quarter inches and then the rest of your wire. I also started to thread the screw that is going to hold the wire in place. And there you have the uh, wire already in place with the fulcrum. The wire obviously is long because I will cut it once I mount the uh, turnout for the uh, switch machine onto the uh, layout. I like to mount a uh, terminal strip near the switch machine and by doing so I can mount or dismount the switch machine simply by disconnecting the wires from one half of the terminal strip and then the layout wires would be uh, connected to the other half of the terminal strip. In other words, creating a, a breaking point for maintenance or whatever you may have to do. Okay, as you can see, here is where my switch machine will be going. And not far away, I have already mounted the uh, terminal strip. Now for the wiring, you can use regular speaker wire, 26 gauge, for the two contacts that run the motor. For your frog and track wiring, stick with uh, whatever you're using for your feeders. I use 18 gauge uh, stranded. And the reason I use 18 gauge is if you ever have a short, you don't want the wire to burn out before it sets the uh, trip on your circuit breaker. So try to use the uh, heaviest wire possible uh, that you can for feeders. If you're using 22 gauge for feeder, that's, I think that's fine. I just like to go a little heavier with 18 gauge uh, right into the uh, switch motor and then out from the switch motor to the frog. All right. And here we have all the uh, connections soldered to the uh, tortoise switch machine. Remember the two outside wires, which are lighter in gauge than the three, the red and the two blacks, the two outside wires are the power to power the uh, tortoise switch machine motor. It takes uh, 12 volts, AC or DC, and what I do, I'll just connect these wires from the switch machine to a double pole, double throw mini toggle on my uh, uh, fascia, on the panel uh, fascia, wherever uh, the switch is located on the diagram. And then from the uh, switch, 
the wire goes to the power source. The other three wires, the black and the two, the two blacks and the red, the red goes to the frog and the two blacks, one goes to each outside rail. And uh, the flux that's on there, I will clean that off with a little brush and toothbrush and uh, some denatured alcohol to make sure that uh, no corrosion will set in in the future and uh, make sure I have a clean joint. But I've cleaned off the uh, flux. Okay, I've cleaned off the flux. As you can see, it's nice and uh, bright. It'll show you that you have a good, uh, good contact. Before I mount the switch motor, I will uh, connect it to my trusty 20-year-old DC power pack, which is already pre-wired with a double pull, double throw switch. And by flipping the switch, I will test the, uh, the, the switch motor. Center's off. Voila. Perfect. All right, there you can see the uh, switch machine has been mounted. The wire coming through the uh, layout and pretty much it's centered where in either direction you'll have positive contact on the uh, outside rails through the uh, clear route and through the diverging route. All that's left to do is cut the wire down to just below rail height and you're good to go. Now I can continue on with the uh, rest of the track work. One thing that people may think, well, you know, tortoise switch machines. I can get away with an atlas and pay a lot less. And yeah, 1759 you'd say is a lot for a, a switch machine. But remember, uh, if you're gonna be powering frogs, if you're gonna be uh, powering uh, signals, as I have to indicate the uh, switch throw direction, yeah, you can get away with using an Atlas switch machine like so but then you got to figure in the cost of the relay that you're going to need to get or make one yourself to be able to uh, either power out uh, the frog or send power to the uh, signal lights. And once you factor that cost in in time, uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's worth the extra expense that you're going to have to do with getting a, an extra relay for uh, to accomplish the same thing that you're doing with the tortoise in one package. Besides that, the tortoise runs much more realistic. It it runs quieter than the snap switches than the than the Atlas uh, turnout motors, and it runs uh, slower, more prototypical of uh, the real thing. Once uh, I'll connect these wires up to the terminal strip and all I need to do is connect the frog and solder feeders from the outside rail and connect to the other side of the terminal strip. That's it for now. Uh, please comment.